Hey everyone, good evening. Happy election night. It's uh, first Facebook Live we're doing after 7.30. So the polls here in Ohio are officially closed. We've been down here in Finley all afternoon uh, where I've been updating our viewers throughout the early evening newscast about the Finley City Schools operating levy. To give you guys a little update in case you missed our newscast, this was the third time this calendar year that Finley City Schools was trying to get this operate uh, the operating levy passed in April. Uh, it was voted down during the primary, and then Hancock County held a special election here in the city of Finley, and the only item on the ballot was that levy again, which was also voted down. 54% of the folks here in Finley uh, did not want that levy passed. Now, the levy that was on the ballot earlier this year was 5.9 mils, which was uh, going to raise about $5 million for Finley City Schools. Uh, Finley City Schools has not approved or gotten approval from voters new uh, operating money for 16 years. And the superintendent and the school board felt that they needed to get some new influx of cash from the community uh, to keep the level of education where it's at. But that was voted down twice. So after the August special election, the Finley City School Board decided to put a, the, a levy on tonight's ballot, but they lowered the millage from 5.9 to 3.9. So if that was going to be approved, uh, homeowners in the city of Finley would have uh, spent uh, about a hundred and, uh, I have it written down right here, want to make sure I got it correct, $136 a year for every $100,000 valuation on your home. So the hope was that uh, with a higher voter turnout, and with the lower millage that uh, might have been a little less impactful on people's wallets that uh, the, the levy would pass. So we're, st we're still going to have to wait a little bit because obviously polls just closed and now uh, all of the uh, Board of Elections offices are going to be tabulating all of these, uh, these votes here over the next few hours and hopefully by the 10 and 11 o'clock news we'll know how this levy went. But what's interesting uh, to, to know is that Finley City Schools is still planning on making some cuts if this levy is even passed, uh, if it fails, they'll do more cuts. But because they, they needed uh, that $5 million uh, from the 5.9 mil levy and they're going to be asking for a 3.9 mil levy tonight, that's less money. That's, that's still not enough, according to Superintendent Troy Roth. So they're still going to be making some cuts to their staff. And they're also looking at the potential of closing up some of their elementary buildings. They have multiple elementary school buildings down here in Finley. So they may be consolidating some of those classrooms. And they are also going to be looking at busing. Uh, they, they might be extending the limit of uh, how far away you have to walk uh, to, to be uh, accepted to, to take busing. So kiddos here in the city of Finley starting next school year may have to start walking a little further. So I've been in contact with Superintendent Roth all, all afternoon and he'll be joining me at some point this evening. Once we find out where the levy looks like it's gonna fall, whether it's approved or not, and we'll see where we go from there. So thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned on our Facebook page. We have uh, Fox News at 10 o'clock tonight, but between now and then we'll be doing cut-ins on air and we will be doing Facebook Lives like this one all night to keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching.